Hello everyone and welcome to today's broadcast of IEM Shanghai. We've had the delays, we've had few little issues, but they're all sorted out now and we are into the game. If you're just joining us, I'm GoGo Gadget, joined as always by Uber and Uber, look at this. Royal versus Invictus Gaming to kick it off. Yeah, exactly right. And, uh, you know, sorry guys, we're sort of quite rushed getting on in here. The guys at Shanghai wanted to get the game started straight away. And we're seeing pretty typical bands coming out here. It is Royal versus IG. Zetai gets Carthus taken away from him straight away. Uh, you know, PDD, I assume that's uh, why God is PDD gets the uh, rise taken away as well. So nothing surprising here. It's those three quintessential, quintessential champions from IG being denied. Of course, Xiao Xiao is going to lose his Sona in this game. Yeah, he is. Uh, nice ban, I feel, there by Royal. So, taking out that, uh, obviously, targeted ban towards Xiao Xiao. They've also taken out Ryze and Karthus. And, uh, well, one thing's for sure, if any of you guys managed to uh, catch any of the Stars War 8, where all four of these teams in IEM were actually uh, participa participants in very recently, you know, that Karthus, that Ryze, they're very much power picks. Uh, you know, both for Invictus Gaming and the Chinese scene as a whole at the moment. So very strong bands coming out there from Royal. They don't want this game. Uh, they don't want to, you know, face a late game Rise or Carthus. Yeah, that's right. And I mean, yeah, the Twisted Fate is a pretty generic band. They're going to also take away that uh, that Jace from Whites as well. I mean, Carthus, on that note, he was instrumental for IG in getting that second game back against OMG in the finals of Stars War 8. It was a 2-1 victory to uh, OMG, but they had to prevent, uh, you know, Z-Type from getting his hands on that Carthus because... Yes, cool all into him a couple times with Ari in that mid lane. Didn't manage to kill him, but later on in the game, you know, OMG could not get ahead. They could not, you know, come out with a distinct advantage because, of course, the team fight presence and global presence that Carthus has was far, far too much for them to deal with. But we're into the picks here as well. So we are going to see Thresh taken away straight away. That's going to go into the hands of Tabe. Be interesting to see if Uzi goes for his typical Caitlyn pick or will he go for something else. But I'm not surprised to see, you know, uh, Vayne sort of Ezreal hover over here for Kid. Yeah, it's interesting. And, you know, for those that... Uh, may not be too familiar with Royal as a team. You know, Royal Uzi, he's going to be playing Vayne or, uh, Vayne or Caitlyn, yeah. Every game, pretty much that he can. Every game that I've seen him, he's been playing one of those two AD carries, and he is absolutely monstrous on them. That's for sure. So it looks like uh, he's thinking about Vayne. Would not be surprised at all to lock that in. Vayne into Ezreal. That's a comfortable matchup for Vayne. Um, you know, there's not too much that Ezreal can do to, you know, really deny uh, Uzi in that lane. That is, if they decide to send that, uh, you know, that 2v2 down into the bottom lane. Looks like they picked up Zach as well. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty good pick there by Royal, I feel. Obviously, that Zach is going to be taken by Lucky in the jungle there, uh, we'd expect. I mean, I don't, I, yeah, don't see a top Zach happening uh, for Royal this game, Uber. Well, I guess it really depends what else they want to complement their lineup with because we see we saw Go going do it a few times with OMG uh, and also Mac Noon as well in their Korean show, uh, yeah. in the Korean Masters show match. So we'll have to wait and see. I'd, um, yeah, you know, I'd love to be interesting to see, yeah. I didn't think Illusion would go for the Lee Sin. I mean, he likes that Jarvan. As we've said before, Illusion obviously makes a lot of his kills off the counter gank. Uh, you know, it's always a case of PDD or Kidney extending a long way in their lane and not warding. And that's something that you see as characteristic of the Chinese scene. It's not a great deal of warding, pushing along a long way forward, uh, and a lot of people getting caught out as well. And that sort of uh, gave rise to team comps that were associated around AoE lockdown, singling out that one target that's overextended yep. in lane and forcing a 4v5. Yeah, no, exactly there. And it looks like we're just waiting on the last two picks to come in here for Royal. And guys, if you're just joining us, yes, we are in the Chinese tournament uh, client. So that's why a few, of the, uh, a few of the bands, a few of the champion icons are a little bit different there. And I can clarify that yeah, it is, of course, Carthus. Hey, hello. Oh, hello. We, we've got a Fizz. Fizz? Oh, I'm... I'm pretty excited. I'm not going to lie. It, well, it's an interesting pick to take, Fizz. I don't know if perhaps, uh, you know, Whites has anticipated a pick Could here. Could be on the Whites. Side of it's going yeah. to throw them off a little bit. It's going to be, might be that, we're well, hovering over Oriana here. So well, let's talk about Fizz for a second. Um, for those who've fought their way up through bronze, uh, you know, in any sort of way, shape or form, will have <laughs> seen a bit of Fizz. Uh, in fact, a lot of Fizz, because he's considered to be quite strong in that regard. You know, come on, in your in your opinion, Gogo Gadget, why are we sort of looking at Fizz here on the side of Royal? Why well, look, I mean, Fizz here, obviously, it's probably going to be going over to uh, to Whites. Looking at their lineup, they're probably going to have Lucky on a a jungle Evelyn, I suspect. Um, 
Yeah, look, look, looks like that's what they're swapping to at the moment. So that wouldn't surprise me. And now White's on Fizz. It's interesting. It's interesting because typically, you know, you do see Fizz uh, used as maybe a laning counter pick uh, to someone like a um, like an Ari, maybe something like that. But here, White's he's picked it before he knew what Zatai was going to pick. I mean, Zatai gone with the sort of comfort Oriana pick there. I, I quite like that. Uh, but we'll see how the lane, lane matchup goes. I definitely think that Fizz will, you know, White's on Fizz. He'll have a pretty decent time in that lane. But uh, for now, though, guys, we are down into the, the, the delay period, I should say. And uh, we can take a look at what summoner spells everyone's taken. Nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, pretty much standard across the board. Although, Kid on his Ezreal, he doesn't need no barrier. He's got that ignite. Yeah, you know, I guess uh, you know he really wants that spike and kill potential, you know, in the lane. Uh, exactly. We'll have to see how that we we'll have to see how that works out for him. More importantly, though, Godlike is going top lane with that Zac, so he feels confident on that Zac. His ability is to sustain three is passive, and of course, you know, just walking around and picking up those blobs feels fairly good about it. Oh, uh, you know, I feel I feel okay about that. That doesn't stress me too much. Um, I just find it very, very interesting. You know, Whites and Zetai typically have been aggressive mid laners. If you compare them to Messiah, for example, who is probably the complete opposite, these two have always favoured assassin champions. I mean, with the with the exception of Karthus, which we, is a common fixture with Zetai, these guys like their you know assassin teams to jump on one another. And I find it interesting that it wasn't a Zed that was picked up, you know, on the side of Royal for that mid lane. Uh, but Fizz, especially uh, leaving himself open to potentially be countered there. And Zigtai is going to be doing a lot of harassment early on. We might even see uh, something wacky like AD runes or something just to uh, you know increase the power of the Clockwork Windup passive, uh, you know, and, and just the harassment from auto attacks early on in the game. Now, guys, last time we did this, I was spectating off GoGo -Go Gadget in my friends list because we couldn't all fit into the client. So bear with us. We, if we do detect sort of some sort of delay in terms of uh, you know between myself and him, we'll try and get that sorted out as soon as possible. Uh, I, I think this should be okay though. We, we got priority this time. GoGo -Go. feels good. ESL TV are all set up and uh, in the in the actual spectator slot of the uh, of the room itself. A lot of people have been uh, checking this game and a lot of people are spectating it as well. But obviously, we are in. The, uh, we're in the lobby, so hopefully there shouldn't be a problem there. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, looking pretty good on my side, Uber. But yeah, it looks like we're just getting these pores coming out. Obviously, you know, at the event, potentially, uh, they're looking to maybe touch up on some technical stuff, which, uh, you know, is to be expected, of course. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't... We uh, weren't able to get to the event, but I uh, tell you what, we've got some fantastic League of Legends games on show here nonetheless uber i mean we've got this royal ig afterwards i think we're going to be having uh you know world elite taking on omg the chinese powerhouse and um it really is the top four teams in china that are uh, battling it out here you know you're spot on in fact there was a top five there was a there, it's generally agreed on in, in the chinese scene that you've got teams like royal IG, OMG, World Elite, and Positive Energy, PE, who didn't make it through this time, they are yeah. widely considered to be the top five. And PE, you know, showed their ability. They actually came second in the 10 cent LPL. They did quite well uh, to sort of get to that position. Now, um, uh, you know, they didn't make it through. Obviously, in fact, they, lo they didn't quite qualify. They lost to Royal. Uh, they went down 2-0, uh, and that's what I expect there. But as I said, PE, they did beat IG in the LPL playoffs. They yeah. did beat them. So... Uh, we'll have to see uh, how it goes here now. Are you going to skip to live on your client, Gogo, or are you just going to maybe st stay where it's set? Yeah, I'm just going to uh, stay where it's set. We're about to... Uh, uh, oh, actually, yes, we see the flash from Tabe. All right, the flash. That sentence comes straight in. The kid the Ignite does come down as well, but... The flash will be burned by Kid to get away out of that one. That was quite interesting. We saw the Arcane shift out of the death sentence, but it had already connected, so it had still been you know, stretched out like a slinky. But, uh, you know, flash burnt very early on for Kid. That's, uh, you know, that's a good thing for Royal early on in the game. Yeah, definitely is there. So, I mean, at the moment, Royal, they're going to be happy with that little trade. I mean, Tabe did actually use his Flash and his Ignite. So, I mean, all in all in that bot lane matchup, I'd, I'd probably take that uh, if I was in IG situation. I mean, Ezreal, of course, already does have that Arcane Shift. So, losing a Flash, not as, you know, not as impactful as losing it on someone like, uh, like Vayne or a different AD carry, or Marksman, if you will, as the, uh, as the new term sort of floating around. I don't think we're going to use that, though. But for now, it looks like IG just kind of uh, waiting in this top brush here in the river, looking to potentially get a late blue invade going on. Yeah, that's right. They position themselves towards the top of the river. They're going to walk in, and they're going to run straight into Godlike and Lucky here. I'm not sure how this one's going to end up. They're going to start off the blue buff. Godlike gets out of the aqua prison, and does miss. Lands onto the buff and those little lizards as well. This one's going to be summarily taken away here by IG. Also, by the way, 
Jarvan top lane. We really, we didn't really talk about that as much as we would have liked. We were very rushed to get in here. But we'll have to see now if uh, PDD, who I assume it is, goes for like a split push duelist build or something else. But uh, obviously we're going to see a lane swap here as well. We do see Kid and Shao Shao head to the top lane. Of course, Kid without that flash is probably a little bit concerned about his safety early on in the game. And he'll probably try and uh, use that lane just for a bit more comfort. Yeah, that's right there. So uh, interesting fact that I actually uh, managed to read from uh, from the Twitch chat, which of course not always the most reliable source of information, but apparently PDD was actually involved in a car crash this morning, uh, and uh, he's all right, but I think his arm was actually hurt. So uh, I think that is actually a sub for Invictus Gaming. Uh, Yugoto, I think. So uh, he'll be subbing in for PDD. Okay, well, you know, thoughts with him now. Hopefully, he's back to uh, full health very, very soon. But why, Gotto, he's going to do uh, a bit of a 1v2 here. And uh, not probably Jarvan's favorite place to be. The CSing from range isn't overly, overly reliable. Seems quite easily, but I'll have to see how that works out from now. In the mid lane, a lot of harassment, as we did expect, going down into whites here. That clockwork wind up is chunking him down a half, and he's chucking pots left, right, and center. So we'll have a pause here. We can have a bit of time to talk about this. I want to talk about Go Go Gadget real quickly while we have time. The road to uh, I am Shanghai. A lot of people saying this is I am. Where's SK? Where's Fnatic? Where's you know this is this you know Shanghai? Obviously the first I am of season eight has taken on a little bit more of a regional feel, uh, and that, that's for a few reasons, of course. And of, there are major tournaments happening all around the world for exactly. a lot of those teams yep. that they're sort of tied up in right now. So it's most of the Chinese teams here. In fact, only Chinese teams at the moment. So it takes on a very similar flavor to Star Wars Eight, except with a little bit more prize money going on and luckily we were able to catch all the Styles War 8 action so shouldn't be too much out of our comfort zones. Yeah that's right guys and of course we do have colorblind mode enabled now so that should be all good but down the bot lane Uzi's getting oh he's he's gonna be fine. Yeah that's right but Lucian going in well I didn't want to take the one face on Tarby got a bit of a uh, bit of damage down as well the death sentence comes out it's gonna miss and you know Illusion not really able to relieve relieve too much pressure for I got her here in the bot uh, in that bot lane I mean, it's a fresh vein lane, high kill potential, as we well know. But Kid and Xiao Xiao on the other side of things are also making Godlike fight for this CS. You know, if you think about it, there is a 5 CS lead between White Godo and Godlike. So he's doing okay. You know, he's using that Q. He's using the Damascene standard to throw it down and get some CS here and there. But it's not an optimal arrangement for either of those champions. No, exactly. That's right there. So, I mean, in the meantime, Illusion obviously is spending a lot of time down this bot lane. Yeah, he did. He is hanging tight. He's trying to keep a little bit of pressure off White Godo. Trying to push the wave up a little bit as well. Tabe and Uzi, just quite happy to uh, to CS away here. Actually, you know, Uzi's behind in CS to keep. Oh, in the mid lane. Lose the fight that goes on Tabe, tries to get the Q down. And in the mid lane as well, we did see Zetai drop. Almost a bit of an engagement in the bot lane as well. So all happening all over the map. And White's managed to all in onto uh, the Orianna there of Zetai early on in the game. And of course, when you cop a bit of harassment, once you hit level 5, he's got the spells and he's got a, a lot more damage on him as well. That Sea Stone Trident, you know, of course he's got the Urchin Strike. He's got a lot in his kit to really, uh, you know, get in there and, and make the all in happen. But, uh, yeah, that's that, right. that was a lot of action happening all over the map there. And at the top lane as well, Kid's going to drop. Feels like he comes up through the jungle. Xiao Xiao's in a bit of trouble as well. Those hate sparks are coming down thick and fast. Xiao Xiao's going to have to flash out of the tower. Will Lucky go for the dive? He's got the red buff. Lucky in a lot of trouble here. Going to take a tower here and almost fall over. But that was very, 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 uh, very risky play from him trying to pick up that second kill. Xiao Xiao's going to drop low as well. Illusion's going to stay in that uh, bot lane as well and give that Charvin a lot more freedom there to push up. Yeah, that's right there. So, I mean, in the meantime... Oh, lucky the top lane here has managed to get that kill on the Xiao Xiao. Actually walked in between those two towers and anticipated the position of Nami in that bush. <laughs> Jump straight and a few hate spikes and, uh, well, thanks for coming. Oh, that, that's amazing. An amazing bit of play there by Lucky. And, uh, look at that. Lucky already, five minutes in, he's 2-0. He's doing work. Oh, he got to get stopped by Death Sentence there in the bush that was watered out. Tabe just going to put a little bit of pressure onto him there. Sorry, I cut you off all the time, but this is very Chinese. The, uh, this is action-packed, really too, though. No, exactly there. So, at the moment, I mean, after all that said and done, it's three kills to Royal. IG haven't picked up anything at the moment. And, uh, you know, their lane's a little bit a little bit down in CS as well. So, early on, the six-minute stage of this game, Royal are looking really good. They're feeling comfortable. Three kills on the board. Gold lead looking about 1.6k at the moment. So... Uh, they're, they're feeling pretty good. Obviously, that first blood came up nicely for them, and they've managed to add two more to it. So, for all now, I've just got to see how they can continue to put... Uh, uh, this Fizz pick, sorry, as I cut away, is, is quite interesting, and he seems quite comfortable. Zeta had the opportunity to essentially counter that. Uh, you know, the Orianna pick, but White's looking very, very confident right now. Illusion heading towards the mid lane. Lucky there, potentially, for a counter gank as well. Let's see what happens here. Neither really looking like they want to uh, be too aggressive. In the top lane, the Aqua Prison's going to hit on the Godlike here. Ebb and flow just to get a bit of extra damage, but Kid and Jaja are quite happy just to uh, continue to chunk down Godlike as he tries to CS. 
Yeah, that's right. They've got like, I mean, he's pretty much rushed that chain vest. Probably be expecting to build that one into uh, a Sunfire Cape. Not going to be early, of course. He's struggling up there in that top lane. But, I mean, he's, he's doing all right for himself. Has picked up that assist, which is helping as well. So, that's, uh, that's not too bad. In the meantime, though, we see the pings actually down in the bottom lane uh, from Royal's side. So, potentially, you might think that a ward is down there near the dragon. All right, so one got to take a little bit of damage there. He's got lane and oh, here we go. White's just trying to go for a potential. Gonna, no, he's going to come around and try and bypass some ward locations here, heading towards the bottom lane. He did get the uh, playful trickster over the bush, but White Goto has seen this one coming. There is a pink ward in that bush as well, so White's being revealed. White's is in a bit of trouble here, Illusion, sort of hanging around the edge there. Ping coming out there from the side of Royal, telling White's to get on out of there, and uh, quite lucky he is actually going to get out of there without any form of retaliation. So very, very aggressive positioning. He managed to sneak through the, uh, the picket fence there, the picket line, you could say, from IG. Yeah, that's right there, and uh, what I really like from IG is up in this top lane, I mean, we can see they're lucky actually just got spotted by that, uh, by that pink one. Oh, it's already in a bit of trouble here, sorry, the flag and drag comes down, he's going to try to fly in response, the rappel coming straight down onto Thresh, he's trying to back away as fast as he can, Ignite, he's picking on White Dota, they're going to turn onto Uzi now, they're quite happy to take one or the other, but oh, the damage on oh, the gets it. can turn around and condemn into the wall, and White God is going to have to back right away, the flash is burnt as well, Tame and Uzi turn that one straight around, that was looking very good for IG, a royal. Stuck to their guns, and uh, my voice is not too, too strong, well at the moment, yeah. but uh, yes, <laughs> IG. Not, not, really the, not really the ideal situation for them. Yeah, no, that's right at the moment. I mean, 4 0 down before 8 minutes into the game here. Not exactly what they want. And, you know, looking at IG's comp, I mean, they. They haven't really got what I call a late game comp. I mean, obviously, Kid on that Ezra is probably going to power, you know, peak in mid game. I mean, in the meantime, on Royal side, Uzi, you know, he's on vein. He's going to be very comfortable no matter how long this game goes on. Have a look at this. You know, oh, they're down the bot lane. Nice. Not Tava hits the deck there. Looks like they're trying to get something sneaky. Cataclysm onto Uzi there. He's going to back away and try and do that with Illusion. But Uzi going to pop the barrier as well. Involves his spidling coming in. And Uzi hanging on to 47 health here. Lucky comes straight in here for the counter gang as well. He's going to take a lot of tower damage. Might see the aggro trade in But Uzi, Uzi will drop there. Very, very difficult situation to coordinate there. Both of uh, those Royal players trying uh, to uh, hold Tara aggro for the other guy, but then neither of them had enough health to trade it properly. Yeah, no, that's right there. In the meantime, up in the top lane, Kid and Jaja just pushing down this tower. They're going to get that, that this wave, I should see. So it goes down a little bit of a uh, boon to IG there. So kind of clawing back in terms of the gold lead as we see the first buys coming out from both sides. Obviously, Uzi... Going for that uh, early Blade of the Rune King, he's picked himself up the Bilgewater Cutlass. And uh, nothing too crazy in terms of items across the board yet, Uber. Obviously, Satai, he's going to be looking to build a nice early Athenes. All right, now White's farming very, very well considering uh, the lane is sort of in. 74 to 79, it's kind of going back and forth between waves there. And he seems fairly uh, content after his attempts. Oh, wow, well, no! I was going to say, Chun the Waters comes out and Zetai got a flash. So, an ult for a flash. And White's is going to be pretty happy with that one. Zetai was in a lot of trouble there, potentially. Yeah, he was a little bit there. But, you know, that's that's one of the real benefits of, uh, you know, building this Athene. Zetai is going to have a little bit more magic resist than he normally would. And, of course, Athene's pretty standard item on Orianna. And uh, in this matchup where, you know, obviously Fizz is going to be really, really aggressive and, you know, go for those 1v1 landing kills, it's definitely helpful. Where are you going now? Is he being a little bit cheeky there, picking up, uh, you know, taking the Dark Passage while uh, rolling and put a bit of pressure on, pressure on Kid there, should I say. Just going to chunk him down. Continually tumbling forward. The Tidal Wave coming out here. Very long-range engage from IG. But the, the slow is, hits very hard and fast. Uzi's going to drop very quickly in the Ignite as well. Condemn. Tries to get the Condemn away, of course, onto Illusion. But nice work there as well. That was one of the longest range engages I've ever seen with that Tidal Wave. And now IG got the freedom to pick up a Dragon. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, we can see Lucky. He's around the Dragon area uh, on that event. It'll be interesting to see whether he tries for a steal, but they can test it all. Obviously, it's sort of a 3v4 situation, factoring in uh, as a tie with that one. But I think this Dragon... I don't know, they have got vision of it, but they're not going to go for it. No, missed time, smile. Well, missed time, Q there, should I say, from Tabo. The Death Sentence on over here onto the Dragon. So, we're all going to have to back away from that one. You know, and they lost the tower as well. Obviously, the top lane swift, uh, swap was quite uh, quite positive for IG in the match to do quite well. Try to hit an Aqua Prism there from Xiao Xiao onto Tabe. He's going to get away with that one. So, we're going to see the Xiao Xiao and Kid combo head back to the bot lane now. 
Oh, obviously, as they did before. And, uh, of course, White Goto is going to go up against Godlike in that top lane. So, all over the map here. You know, gold lead now in favor of IG. After taking that dragon, they've also got that tower. So, an early lead to Royal kind of given up there uh, from an excellent engagement in the bot lane care of Xiao Xiao on Nami. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Xiao Xiao on this Nami, we've seen it in, the, uh, in recent tournaments, the LPL, the Stars War League. He is fantastic on that Nami, really showing it with that little, uh, little play down there. And at the moment, you know, taking a look, it actually seems as though Kid, he's going straight for that uh, Iceborne Gauntlet there on Ezreal. He's already got that tier stacking up, so going for a sort of blue Ezreal build, nothing too crazy there, very poke-centric, of course. All right, Uzi's going to take away this bot tower. Going to get the Dark Passage to safety there as well. We obviously did see Illusion, and of course, Kid shout out all positioning to maybe, uh, you know, get a bit of a, a reprise after that tower take, but they won't. Didn't get there in time now, so Zito going to return to the mid lane. And of course, that Athena's Unholy Grail is that imp first important pickup for him. Xiaoxiao Xiao and Kid still seem adamant. They want to set something up here in the bot lane. Tabe now is uh, revealed by a ward placed in that bush. In the mid lane as well, Whites and Lucky are heading heading towards bots. So I'm not really sure. Whites back in the mid lane. He's got his blue buff on him as well. And Whites are you know, doing very, very well in terms of CS here. He's very, very close to Zito. Oh, the in Oh, the, the waters comes out. There is no flash available for Zito. We're going to see the shock web come out defensively. But a nice play for Trixie from Whites. He's going to get himself out of that one. Lucky is going to be out of water illusion out of the fight as well. So Whites very, very happy with that one. Another all-in kill. And this Fizz is such a scary pick in the hands of Whites right now. And there's nothing that Zito can do. Uh, exactly, like you said, with that flash down, Satai just cannot escape that burst. In the meantime, oh, wow. the bot lane we're seeing the engage. Yes, yeah, but in the top lane as well, we'll go to bot lane. Firstly, the title comes down defensively. Uzi going to have to pop the barrier. Uzi's going to get away. Lucky picks up Illusion in the mid lane. We saw that one as well coming from a godlike engage on that Zach. In the bot lane, Tarbe's going to try and back off here. I don't know, a lot of damage going. Nice play! Fantastic oh. play in the shout out. Tarbe going to be able to pick that one up for his team, but now it's Kid. And Kid is going to manage to get the double kill out of that one. So one kill coming back, uh, you know, in favor of Royal there. But the mid tower dropping as well. So Royal now two towers to one. And a lot of plays happening all across the map. Very, very, very messy game. A lot of carnage. I mean, it's 14 kills in 13 minutes to give you an indication of how aggressive both teams have been in this game. And I expect no less from Royal and IG. Yeah, exactly. This is an action-packed game. Exactly what we've come to expect, like you said, from the Chinese scene, from these two teams. And uh, this Fizz pick really seems to be working for uh, for Whites at the moment. You know, Whites, he's a sort of mid laner that, uh, you know, sometimes he can have his, he can definitely have his off days where he just doesn't make the plays, doesn't make things work. But today, Day is definitely not one of those days on Fizz at the moment. 2 near one more CS than the Oriana who's laid against than Satai. That is, that is pretty impressive. That is, of course, you know, Fizz is not too, uh, considered a farm laner. Generally, he roams, and Whites has been fairly happy to stay in lane and just all in uh, Z-Tile whenever he has the chance. Whenever that chum, the waters is off the cooldown, he generally pops it and goes all in. So now Lucky and Tarbo are going to head towards the bot side as well with Ki uh, Uzi in tow. Let's that lane out. So they've got three in this bot lane here. Not sure what they're trying to make of that. To see how that works out from because we have three and four sorry positioned in the mid lane for IG. Looks like they want to try and take this tower back. They know they're behind. We're going to see Yogoto coming down from the side as well. We'll try and take that tower away. And yeah, perhaps a bit of mispositioning from Royal now as they come straight back towards the mid lane. Chana Waters comes down, hits no one in particular actually. And then he's just going to pop up in the middle of him. Whites wants to fight though. Or does he? Troll pulling straight back out of the way. Yeah, so IG here, you know, they've actually got a pretty nice team for Sieging Towers. They've got that nice disengage, uh, you know, from that tidal wave of Nami. And, of course, lots of poke that Kid's going to be getting out now uh, that he's finished that Iceborne Gauntlet. So, uh, it's, it's a pretty strong tank off for doing what IG are doing at the moment. So. Alright, Godlike positioning for a bit of an elastic slingshot. Thanks, Price. Thanks, thanks better of it now. And you've got Illusion going to head up towards that top of the red side jungle. But Lucky is in pursuit here. He's going to pop a ward there and make sure you can see all the... That's a nice ward. He's going to try and spot out all the, uh, all the movements around the red buff. He's going to be taken away by you got him an illusion. Lucky knows about this as well. He's got himself in position while the rest of his team sort of chills mid lane. Ping's going down on that top tower. Oh, it looks like they want to continue to increase their, their lead in terms of objectives. They're going to head on up there. you got him. Only one on the top side right now for IG. Illusion to join him. A lot of positioning around the top side here. Looks like this tower is highly valued at the moment by Royal. Yeah, that's right. And... For the uh, guys asking in chat, this is 3.9 as we see the engage! Oh, then we've got the death sentence, comes on the Cataclysm, Tarbe caught in the middle of it. Lucky's gonna try and get out, but the Rappel comes straight on, down onto him. Uzi! Fantastic work from Uzi there, gets to play the Ruin King prop and pretty much destroys Illusion. Lucky's gonna get away with 50 health, by the way. That is a very, very close one there. White's gonna come up, wants to fight. You got it, he's gonna be a dash in there as well! Oh wow! <laughs> Trying the waters is gonna completely whip there. Urchin Strike oh. does hit. 
but you got us going to be able to get away from that one. But another tower taken down by Royal. See though and Zhao Zhao will take one in response in that mid lane as well. So it's tower for tower. Looks like both teams are going to try and take those inner turrets as well. Top and mid. Zhao and Zhao Zhao pushing hard. It might be a base race. Surely it's got to give at some point Joker Gadget. Someone's going to drop back. Like he's going to head towards the mid lane. Not in time to see that tower. Oh no, the Aqua Prison hits. Do they want to capitalize? Yes, the Chocolate goes down as well. Poor positioning from Lucky. Got caught inside that Aqua Prison. That is such a powerful uh, spell, of course, from Nami. Incredible lockdown. And, you know, Zito was happy to use the Chocolate Prison to pick that one up. You know, nice bit of play there from IG. A fantastic Aqua Prison there from Xiao Xiao that set up that kill. And they're going to walk out of that almost even in gold. About a little bit over 1k gold behind it at the moment. But that's not too bad for them. They've got, you know, those key towers, those two, uh, you know, outer mid towers. And that's really important for them because it means that, you know, if they do win any sort of upcoming 5v5 fight, then they can uh, pretty much get an inhib and potentially even more. Okay, well, Dragon come up for IG. Important objective for them. They're essentially trading turrets. They're one behind, but Dragon Control's been very, very good from IG so far. But, you know, starting back to that first engagement in the bot lane out of the tidal wave. But they're still quite close in terms of gold. It's only 470 minutes into the game. So Wagato's going to take away those races as well. Most of Royal Position sort of around the blue side here because White's is going to pick that one up as well. You know, and, you know, White's got that Lich Bane up now. So <laughs> yeah. know, he's going to start bursting people down. And there's a little bit of MR, you know, while we talk about that on Z-Tie. But still, I don't think any of the guys on IG want to see that uh, that Slippery Sucker running at them. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, Lucky going in that spirit of the Elder Lizard, uh, you know, early pick up there on that jungle leave. Really effective. Sort of to be expected from a jungle leave at the moment. Uh, obviously, just gives her that little extra bit of damage that um, can make her such a potent sort of, you know, assassin, such a damage threat in team fights as well. So, IG, obviously, going to have to play that one careful. In the meantime, Lucky on that Eve. He's just in the mid lane. Just uh, waiting it out. Looking to back off against the uh, the advancing four members of IG. Yeah, that's right. They're just looking to, to maintain a bit of pressure here. Pings are going down sort of around Baron as well. There's a few wards there. So, you know, both teams starting to value that now, heading obviously past the 20-minute mark. And Godlike in the top lane, they're going to try and catch him out, I think. Uh, you know, obviously he's trying to split push a little bit. He's looking pretty big on that Zack. Illusion and Xiaoxia are going to pop a ward down around the blue as well. Actually, if they placed that ward just a little bit further up, they would have seen both sides, but I'm sure they're not too concerned about that. There's, there's a lot of presence here from IG around that Baron and, uh, you know, blue buff area on the blue side. And uh, But look at this, you know, in response, we're all pushing a little bit towards mid. They're trying to fake this one out. They're trying to force IG to come back and defend this inner mid turret. But it looks like they might trade them away yet again. So both teams sort of, you know, getting an idea, having an inkling of what uh, what was happening on both sides. And they're going to trade turrets here as well. They don't want to fight for it. Both teams sort of feeling themselves out. We haven't seen a full-blown 5v5. And God help my voice when we do see that. But now, oh, we're going to see Yogoro try and yeah, casually attempt to semi-defend that tower. He's going to see the Cataclysm come out. Uzi, that was not taking turret aggro at moment. That got traded over to... Uh, over to Whites there. They're going to take the inner turret. But look at the inhibitor turret being taken as well. IG putting so much pressure now. Godlike like going to bounce around in their front line. We're going to see a tidal wave come out as well. They're going to try and burst him down. But yeah, we'll have to go back to this one. I didn't anticipate, you know, Yugato coming through and uh, stalling out so much time. So again, inner turrets traded. But, you know, if you think of it this way, you know, all, all the outer inner turrets are down in that top lane for both teams now. So it'll be interesting to see now where the warden comes out around the jungle areas because both teams are valuing Baron now. Those towers are down, Gogo Gadget. Let's see how they take control of this area. Yeah, exactly. And Lucky here. He's going to have to be careful because IG are advancing. White's is there at the moment. No, is he going to walk no. into the trap? White's going to get bursted down fairly soon. Oh, the play from Trickster. But he's got the Ignite ticking in that last little auto attack. Moria's going to make it happen. Godlike's going to bounce straight into him. Z-Type has got the Ignite ticking on him as well. We have seen the uh, Illusion go down. Kid is going to drop there. Nice work to Muzi. Managed to chase him straight on down. And now Xiao Xiao going to have to back away. Xiao Xiao going to burn the flash as well. Caught way out of position there. The Elastic Slingshot comes down. Xiao Xiao, nice bubble there onto Uzi. But it's going to get caught out as well. So very good fight for Royal Club. That was a 4 for 1 for them. And Baron looks like it might be a consideration for them right now. A fight that was theirs to... Well, it was theirs to lose, but to be honest. They walked up past Baron and they didn't uh, sort of anticipate that Aqua Prison coming out of the bush. But they turned it right around here. And it's going to be a Baron for Royal. Yeah, exactly there. You got it there. Is sort of in the area, but of course does not have Smite uh, you know, available as he has that... You know, he's the top laner pretty much. In the meantime, he might actually try for something. He's actually going on to Uzi there. That's right, but Uzi is going to pop that uh, final hour. But, you know, it's brought a lot of time for IG to come up. Ooh. The respawn times are not long at this point in the game. Lucky is so, so low. 96 health now. Trying to dodge those uh, green bombs coming from the sky. Ooh. The smite comes out, though, and they will take that one away. So a little bit risky here 
White's still looking fairly healthy. Obviously, he died in that fight and I managed to get the Baron buff on him regardless. So now, Gold is looking at 4.2k. It's not a great deal, but that Baron coming up very fairly early for, early for Royal. And they knew all they had to do was uh, make sure they won a big fight there near Baron. They took it away. So now the pressure is on uh, IG. They've got to start taking this one back. Oh, you know, Xiao Xiao. Gonna pop that Oracles and try and clear out some more to get in the red side. They're gonna try and gain some dragon control and get back in terms of gold. Yeah, exactly. You know, like we saw then, IG, they can't win a straight out fight against, you know, against what Royal has in their comp. What IG need to do is just let Kid, you know, sit at the back, get those mystic shots onto Royal, you know, wait until they're sort of poked down a little bit by that, and, uh, you know, maybe go in after that because at the moment it's just not working for them. As we see, Whites is in trouble. Is there Whites is, uh, well, he's in a lot of trouble. You've got us going to come straight through the flag and dragons. Oh, Whites is going to get caught down as well by the Iceborn Gorn. He's going to try and take out Kid, but, you know, overextension, uh, one after another. That's what we see a lot here. Uh, you know, they were trying to jump on a godlike early on, and when he was in the top lane on that Zack, and, you know, they just used it to gain position, but a big mistake there from Whites getting caught out in the bot lane. But IG looks like they're just going to head back here. They don't want to try and pressure onto this tower because, of course, they anticipate a bit of pressure coming straight up the mid for them. They've got, obviously, that inhibitor turret still left in the mid and top lanes. But, you know, if they get caught out of position here, uh, looks like they're going to take away the bot tower. So I speak too soon. They'll get that one. IG are happy to take that one away for free, and then they're going to head back. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, IG after that, uh, about 3k gold down, a little bit more than that even. So, going to go back, taking a look at what items we're going to see picked up. Obviously, the amount of unit is still stacking up. Uh, over on Kid there. He's actually almost almost got that turned into a Mirror Mana. Uh, about 730 mana stacked up on that one. We've actually got the Rabadons completed there on Satire. That's going to be very helpful for IG. Just, you know, a nice little damage spike as well. So, uh, looks like the rest of the items. We've got some pretty standard pickups across the board. Although, Uzi, look at that. He's finished the IE. That's right, Uzi. Uh, it's going to be very, very scary. Opting, uh, you know, not for any sort of... Uh any, uh, you know, Phantom Dance or anything like that. Obviously happy with the attack speed, that uh, bonus you're going to get from Blade of the Ruin King. Dragon going to be taken away here by Royal. Carbang, oh, like just going to chuck that one away. And that's a free one for them as well, because IG are a little bit busy clearing out their jungle here. The coverage uh, of their wards, probably not ideal now. Xiao Xiao, uh, actually there's no inkling, I think, at all on the side of IG. This has been taken away, so... A good way for Royal to continue to extend that gold lead. And on the topic of, you know, Z-Tai, z is going to be scary, especially when he gets, you know, maybe a Lich Bane added to the mix. Lich Bane Death Cap, you can pretty much uh, half health any AD carry uh, very, very quickly. Now, they're going to take away this, uh, this, this inner tower in the bot lane. Royal looking pretty good about it. This is a very, very typical position here from Godlike. He's going to want to try an Elastic Slingshot in behind. Going to see the True Shop Rush. Swing on through. Nice Aqua Prison on the Lucky. Godlike might be time for a counter engage here. They're going to take that tower away for free. Only a little bit of damage down on Lucky. And I'll be pretty happy with that one. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, Royal have to be careful here. They're a little bit split up, but looks like White's there. He's got the, uh, going into the mid lane. Just going to clear out that way. Potentially look to put a little bit of pressure on that middle inhibitor turret. But for now, though, it looks like Royal just clearing out the jungle of IG. Yeah, you know, so many parts of this game where teams are casually trading turrets. Now, what? Chandler Waters comes in on the Xiao Xiao. He's going to get on in there. Xiao Xiao's going to drop in a matter of seconds. Shockwave and the, uh, the, of course, the tidal wave comes straight on through as well. Cataclysm was top. It is carnage. The Royal are coming out on top so far. They are four for one thus far in this fight. That is almost a nice there. Illusion still standing, but Illusion going to try and hang on here. Kid takes down Whites as well. Lucky, very, very low. But Royal, amidst all of that chaos, all the Wombo was burnt there. All of the ults and all the AOE, AOE damage coming down. But Illusion is going to head back home now. And Royal are going to try and take this inhibitor turret away. They may go for the inhibitor. Eight seconds for Jazzy to come up, and the rest of IG will be back not far behind him as well. But 20 kills to nine in a 25 minute game. This <laughs> is ridiculous. Uzi, 7, 3, and 4. Absolutely dominating there. Whites is 4, 3, and 2. But his initiation capacity has been fantastic. Chum the waters onto Jazzy and oh, I'll tell you what, it was on from there. It certainly was there. And, you know, Illusion in that fight, lucky to escape there with, uh, you know, without dying. So. It's a little bit of a bonus to IG, but like we like we're just seeing time and time again in this game. IG's comp, they just they just don't have enough to uh, you know, to face off against Wall in an all in and and Godlike and Tabe, they're doing such great uh, jobs at initiating these fights, making them happen, and uh, really making the plays that's putting Royal in the driver's seat for this game. Lucky, a bit of trouble. Flag and drag comes down, but Uzi's going to pop on out as well. This might be all considered here. Wagoto is going to be able to get the kill there, but Uzi now is going to find the rest of IG. Verging very, very quickly. Great little tumble out of that Aqua Prison as well. But Illusion wants some as well. Uzi going to try and duel the 1v3. I don't think so, mate. Sorry. <laughs> He's going to hit the deck there. And, uh, you know, I, I probably would have just said, Lucky, sorry, mate, I'm out of here. 
you know, bad luck to you getting caught by the tree shot and being scouted, but I'm heading home. So now, two for one there for IG. They're going to be able to allow them to press them out here into this, into this top lane. They're going to go straight to the inhibitor turret. Yeah, that's right. In the meantime, Illusion just kind of uh, clearing out those waves of creeps on the Nexus Towers in his base. So it looks like IG. Her kid's a little bit low, so they may have to back out. Probably not looking for uh, any fight after that or any objectives. Baron, you know, it shouldn't be too long until it comes up again. A uh, few minutes, of course, but Uzi's going to revive there, and he's picked himself up a Phantom Dancer, so another little spike in damage for him. Oh, no. What's, oh, wow. Everything blown on white seven. John is straight oh. out of the Shockwave as well. He's got to hit the Channel Waters on the z time but z time manages somehow to miss the Death Sense. Oh, great command move from z time I think completely uh, just caught white as he came straight across that wall. It looks like, you know, Royal want to fight this one out, but IG are going to be happy to back away with just with that one kill. So white getting caught out a little bit too much there. The command attack from the ball. Uh, managed to clip him just as he tried to escape heading north wide. So now, you know, it's another, you know, another situation here, right? You have a bit of a power play, Gogo -Go Gadget. They might just take their time here. They do have to, def to defend a little bit. They lost that mid inhibitor. Uh, have to see if they can push some lanes out and try and take control here. Yeah, potentially here. So, uh, Kid is actually going to catch on to Lucky in the top lane. He hits a Q. Oh, oh, oh my god, Kid! The <laughs> wow, Agony's embraced too strong from Lucky. The Kid actually burned a flash, if I'm not mistaken, they're trying to flash into the bush. But Lucky was far, far too strong, and Tyre's just sitting there like. I saw that. Nice work, bro. You got it going very, very low in the bot lane. Uzi going to completely destroy him, and that's really no surprise to us. Now, Uzi, 9 and 4, 201 CS. Very, very strong right now. Zetai and Shiashi are going to head back towards the base because pressure coming in here to the top lane. Mr. Tabe and Godlike trying to close the net. Yeah, that's right here. So they're going to be moving up towards there. Obviously, not going to look to, uh, you know, engage anything before the rest of Royal comes up to, uh, you know, comes up to support them. In the meantime, of course, Uzi down in that bottom lane, just clearing that one out, seeing lots of pressure all around, you know, every lane pretty much here from Royal Club Huangzhou. So, IG, they're definitely on the back foot. Here they are. In terms of gold, it's probably not too much. It's only about 7k, however. Uh, so pushed in the Channel Waters again. Hits onto Illusion, but going to repel straight on out of that. We've got to love Elise in that regard. But they're going to siege up a little bit of your rule now. So, obviously, you know, uh, you know, IG, they've got Oriana. They've got the poke out from Ezreal as well. They can sort of clear ways fairly well and anti-siege. Royal looking for a blue buff there, but not there to be taken. I think that one went over to Zetai earlier on. They're just going to try and, you know, they're going to try and close the vice a little bit on IG here. Try and take away uh, the jungle and try and keep these waves pushed here. So this is wow, Tave goes low. Have a look at that. That was the uh, you know that was the move and distance combo there from Zetai, and that's what we're saying about that that Oriana once she starts to get strong. Potentially, I don't know why she's got a bit of magic band here. Is she gonna go for Leandris? Is that a sort of is that a Zetai kind of thing, or maybe just for the magic pen that Holding Guys is being picked up? Yeah, potentially. I mean, obviously, you already got that sword shoes. I, I think a Leandris would be sort of an all right pick here. But what I'd really actually like to see uh, coming out of Zitai is a uh, is a Zonya's. You know, just because all of that initiation is very front loaded burst that's coming out of uh, coming out of Royals team. So if you can maybe negate that, you know, and wait for wait a few seconds just so we can get the right timing. Uh, you know, on that ultimate, then potentially that could turn a fight in IG's favour. But we'll have to see. All right, Tarbo going to clear some wards away in this Baron pit. Seems like the focus here. Everyone's sort of positioning around it. Obviously, it is back up. Illusion going to throw a ward back in there as well. But Tarbo, though, get rid of it. So, you know, a bit of a dance here right now for Baron. Zetai and Xiaoxiao are still coming from base here. And, of course, Uzi now joining. So we're going to have to see an initiate. It's all about the vision right now. Lucky. So just chilling in that bush is... Un, uh, unseen so far, Illusion gonna come down and see what's going on in the Baron Pit. They're gonna jump straight to Illusion though. Chum the Waters didn't even come out from White, and the Repel was drawn out straight away. But you've got it coming straight through. Oh my god, it's all happening around that center there. Look at how close quarters it is. This little shock wave come out. White's gonna drop very low. The Zonians is gonna come out. He's gonna hit Yogoto with that Chum the Waters. But Uzi here to join the party. Yogoto gonna go very, very low. Jojo -Jo gonna drop next as well. c Tai trying to lock Uzi up here, get a bit of damage on. But uh, Uzi's gonna drop. c Tai will get away with that one. Xiaoxia getting a little bit too close to comfort there. The Elastic Slingshot is gonna take out that Nami. What a nasty fight. That was a 3-for-3 three three for both teams. Neither one in any position to take away this Baron. No, that was a little bit unfortunate there. Uzi didn't quite manage to get the last hit onto Xiao Xiao there. Xiao Xiao lived and uh, helped to tie pick up the kill on Uzi. So, I mean, when it's all said and done, 3-for-3, three three, that's not too bad for either teams. You know, IG didn't lose any hit, of course. No one can uh, take the Baron off it. And uh, the mod like is taking out this dragon. Although at the start of the last fight, we did get a little bit of uh, uh, client lag, guys. So uh, hopefully that should all be fixed at the moment as we got the uh, troll reconnect symbol there. But we're all good. So for the moment, when it's all said and done, 
What have we got for uh, for the buyers? Looks like uh, some nice pickups over on the rural side. Yes, indeed. So, you know, Royal, we're, we're seeing you know, that Sunfire K Spirit Visage coming out for Cod Like, which is pretty standard. I like to think Shirelli is going to be taking it from Tubby. So, Royal know they have the advantage here. They want to win this share. They want to start a fight, you know, potentially around this Baron Pit as well. They want to win it convincingly and take this Baron away. I actually held on in that fight. I mean, it was a great Aqua Prism from Xiao Xiao. They hit onto Uzi, which really allowed, uh, you know, the Z-Tide just to keep getting damage down with the Clockwork Wind-Up as well as the Command Attack. So, uh, you know, maybe, you know, maybe if Uzi survived, they could have taken a Risky Baron. They obviously had the Life Steal, uh, you know, to keep Uzi alive as well. But now they're going to have to fight a serious fight. God, like getting chumped so, so hard. The Void Staff is getting picked up on Z-Tide. That was what I was hoping to see. That's a heck of a lot of damage there. Nice Aqua Prism on the Godlike, but no one to capitalize there. Lucky going to get caught in the middle. Shockwave goes down to once, and Lucky Cataclysm comes out as well. Time the waters went on to Kid there, but Royal running out of health here. Godlike going to have to back right away with the Let's Bounce as well. White's going to pop the Zonius and cop a uh, Mystic Shot straight away. Uzi going to be able to dodge the slow from that tidal wave, but we see the passive pop from Godlike here. That's not a, uh, that's not a fight that Royal are going to be proud about because IG didn't lose anyone. That was a three for none, and IG now in pole position to take away this Baron. Look at this. Yeah, they've pretty much got a free Baron right now. There's nothing that Uzi and Tabe can do to stop a five-man strong group of Invictus Gami here taking this one out. And that was just potentially a little bit of miscommunication with the engage there from Royal. I mean, that's, that's all it seemed to be. You know, we had Lucky up in there in the front line, got that ultimate off, but then got bursted down immediately by IG. So, you know, a very well-played fight by them. Yeah, we saw this Xiao Xiao was off to the side as well and hit the Aqua Prison onto Godlike. So that actually, you know, stifled the counter engage potential until after, uh, you know, two of the players from Royal, and I think that was White and Lucky, were caught in that shockwave. And then the Cataclysm came down, and then the True Shot Barrage came through, and IG had position that whole fight. You know, uh, Xiao Xiao was, did very, very well to kick Godlike off, and he had to let's bounce away. So he had to use that defensively in that fight, and was not able to get into the back line of IG. And IG would just say, you know what, let's do this. We don't mind. They had a lot of damage coming straight across the shockwave. You know, z type was happy to chunk White and Lucky down very, very low. Uzi wasn't able to make an impact, and now the Gold Lead is still in favour of Royal. That Baron Buffer City on Xiao Xiao, they've got pole position, obviously. They've got the power play. They need to try and take these objectives. There's still that bottom inner turret remaining for Royal, and I'm pretty sure IG are thinking about heading that way very soon. Yeah, that's right there. So IG, you know, taking a look at uh, what they picked up. Kid, he's actually got himself a Banshee's Veil. That is key. That just means that, you know, any uh, any sort of chance initiations which Royal might uh, look to get onto Kid if he's sort of at the front getting those uh, Mystic Shot pokes out. That's not going to be able to happen. So I like that pickup from Kid. Obviously, he's also got that, uh, you know, last whisper now as well. And those CDR birds, so very much a Blue Ezreal build up in there so nothing too crazy picked up on the rest of IG side I'm not so sure how hard we're really going to fight over this tower here no. also, you know the, the gold's looking pretty good for them but Baron Buff you know is worth its, its own weight in gold as well and they are going to let this one go, go so they're okay with this because they've got all of the inner and outer turrets uh, you know from IG so Royal don't want to give up the inhibitor turret though. I think that's probably where they draw the line here. Lucky position off to the side and maybe towards the mid lane here. It was considering maybe coming around behind. And that's what we want to see in Agnes and Brace, you know, hitting onto a whole team. But, uh, we do see the Damascian standard come down inside the wall there. A lot of wave clear coming out from IG. They're going to maintain the pressure. And Royal, they can't wait out this Baron buff. They're going to have to fight for it eventually because, you know, it's only key objectives that are left for them. These inhibitor turrets and they've got to defend them. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, IG, they might look to go in uh, here after a little bit of poke. Uh, but we actually see the Shirelli as their pop by Xiao Xiao, potentially a little bit early. Godlike though, looking for the initiate, but IG, they're gonna be ha they're gonna have to be careful. But the tower's down. Oh, the flag and drag coming in from Yugoda, though. Looks like it might be a fight. Tarbo gonna pop the box there. You gotta go to Cataclysm straight onto Uzi, but he drops very, very quickly. IG a sort of at the side, but Lucky comes straight on in. Gonna jump on a Z-Tide, gonna try a 1v1. Down that Oriana, we are going to see the uh, the Zonius pop there as well. Kid goes low, White pops the Zonius as well. Illusion trying to get away. The shockwave hits on the White. That is a shockwave and a half. And a very, very good fight from IG. It's a two for two though at the moment. They've got the Baron. They need to continue to push here. Goal, I'm going to make the counter engage. Uzi flashes down of that command attack and the distance as well. Uzi's going to chunk down Illusion. Look at Royal. They know how to fight when the backs are up against Royal. It's only Shao Shao that's left now. We're going to see the Elastic Slings on. Oh, midair! Caught into the uh, Aqua Prison as well. So Royal can't chase up onto that one, but. A 4 for 2 fight, Royal are going to be happy with that one. I don't know, you know, it seemed like IG took the tower and then they wanted to fight. Of course they didn't want to fight under it, but we saw so many members of IG caught at the back of the fight, Gogo -Go Gadget, and then of course Lucky came in and did some serious, serious damage. Yeah, that's right there guys, and I think we just, uh, at the start of the fight, had a little bit of, uh, of client lag there, so 
potentially Uber. What I might uh, even do is, uh, well, we'll see how it works for the rest of this game. Hopefully, it's all, it's all good and all sorted out. So, apologies for that one, guys. Nothing we can do about it. Chinese Comcast, too strong, obviously. But um, in the meantime, you know... Royal, they're going to be happy about that fight, obviously. They didn't lose any key objectives. That that inhibitor tower dropping, that's you know that's pretty good for IG. It means that if we do see another 5v5 where IG handily wins it, they can probably close out the game. But uh, for now, though, Royal just it's kind of still farming up, clearing out their jungle, and it looks like White is going to be taking out that blue. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Royal, you know, they got ahead, they got ahead enough in the mid game in terms of gold and objectives. Uh, you know, that even though IG had the Baron, uh, I mean, if they played it better, sorry, I'm sort of stuttering here, but if IG played a little bit better that team fight, they probably would have been okay, but there's still enough gold on the side of Rule as well, and the Uzi mechanics, I don't know if you saw that, was incredible, uh, you know, could have dropped uh, very easily to Z-Tai, we saw a command attack in distance, and he just sort of dodged straight out of it, and then a flash burn, so that's what you want to see from Vayne players here, but now Rule, we're trying to shove down, a lot of pings coming down over the mid lane, IG know that they need to get their crew back very, very quickly, Shirelli's been popping Chow Chow here, not going to give up too much ground, but just enough to get out of that Chandler Waters, because obviously that's a key engagement, one of the many key engagement tools that Royal have at their disposal. Yeah, that's right here. So, you know, Royal at the moment, they're looking pretty good. That uh, Shirelli is on cooldown obviously means that they're not going to be looking uh, for, or not going to be able to get, I should say, any engagements in the next sort of near future, I should say. In the meantime, IG taking out this dragon here. Uh, obviously, you know, 30 minute, 37 minute stage of the game, Dragon is, you know, not too valuable, but uh, nice to pick up anyway. The kills are 30 to 20. We might be seeing the engage soon. Yes, well, of course, you know, I actually want to try and put some pressure on here. I see this a lot from a lot of Chinese teams, though, when they're behind and they're trying to almost bluff and apply pressure while they're behind to show that they're not afraid and get caught into a fight they just cannot win. So they need to be very careful here. Nowhere to draw the line. I'm actually going to pull back a little bit. Chow Chow popping a ward in that river now. Oh, it's a bit of an ARAM for a little bit, I guess. Yeah, you know, Lucky's going to try and take away a few items as well. Getting close to full build for a lot of these players at the moment. And you know, it looks like Lucky considering that Abyssal Scepter as well. Positioning here from Royal, they're just going to try and clear out some wards as five. They do not want to lose any players to getting caught out. So they're going to roll together, but they're going to try and make sure they don't get caught out of position as well while they roam around the map, clearing out that vision from IG. Yeah, exactly. They're obviously Baron going to be down for a while now. And uh, Royal just backing off there now that they've got those wards down there, sort of near the Barren River area. And uh, they're just looking to farm up. And the issue is for, uh, you know, for IG in these fights, we saw the last fight how it sort of almost, you know, almost looked really good for them. But in the end, that, those amazing players there, the amazing mechanics that we saw from Uzi really carried Royal through that. So, I mean, the issue is Uzi at the moment... He's almost six items. I mean, he's, he just needs to comp finish up that uh, QSS upgrade, that one, and he will be six items. So that's that's pretty scary. Jao Jao caught out here. but going to pop the Sorelius. Uh, it's going to be enough for him to get out there. But IG sort of coming straight for the counter engage here. Godlike is sort of like, well, yeah, he doesn't really want to fight either. He's quite happy just to get a little bit of free damage down to Jao Jao. Jao Jao going to be spamming that ebb and flow just to try and get that one back. Make sure full health for the next fight. But so far, you know, neither of these teams, after what's been such an aggressive game, they're just setting themselves here up around the mid lane. Lucky off to the side as well. Might try and catch someone off here. Oh no, IG can't call that position. Chan the water's gonna hit onto Zeke Tide. Zeke Tide's gonna pop the command to protect. We're gonna see the Utah wave come through. It hits God like in Tabe. But Uzi's still in the back line. He's gonna be able to get away from that Aqua Prison as well. Lucky goes down to Kid and Illusion now. Well, we're gonna see White pop this Zonny's hourglass as well. Less bounce coming straight over the top here. But Zeke Tide's still so healthy. We saw these uh, Lock of the Iron Solari get popped. Godlike's gonna get popped into a few pieces here. And Royal, that's not the engage they were looking for at all. No, definitely not there. And uh, Godlike, as he's picked up, uh, we assume with that little little bit of Chinese spectator delay, we've got a nice uh, freeze frame snapshot here of the end of the team fight. But there we go. So Ty picks him up. And uh, look at this. The Baron is up. We may be seeing IG. I mean, they're gonna get it. All right, so are you behind me a little bit in terms of time? Because I'm at live. Yes, yeah, so I'm at live now as well, but I'm um, thinking maybe I might just hit the... Uh, oh, as we see, you know, that Baron is taken out by IG there. I think we should be right here. I'm at live, so 4021 now. Okay, so. no worries. We'll see how that goes, guys. Just trying to get that one sorted out. But important Baron coming away for IG there, and why not? I mean, Royal thought they had it, and this has been such a seesaw game, and honestly, it's Game of Thrones, because that was a fight for Royal to win. Now, their engagement... Well, I don't know. You saw it as well, but their engagement seemed a little bit sort of neither here nor there, and they just got completely turned on. Kid, doing an incredible amount of damage as well. We can't rule him out of the, uh, we can't factor him out of the no, equation. No, exactly. So 
Oh, that's right there. I mean, you know, Kid at the moment, he's actually sold back QSS for a Banshee's Veil. So, you know, taking a look at, uh, at what's really hurting him in these fights, I feel as though that's a pretty decent idea. Obviously, you know, if it blocks something like a, uh, you know, flag toss combo from Yugato or, you know, a cocoon from Illusion, that's definitely going to be worth it. At uh, the moment, looks like Royal still just not not wanting not wanting to go too far out, out or away from their own base, I should say, and uh, just kind of moseying around there, clearing out the jungle, and uh, waiting to make a reactionary play. That's right, and obviously, IG now in the absence of Baron, they're going to try and take it. You know, you might take a few dragons here and there, but you know, it's not it's not the main concern because we are seeing a lot of full item builds coming out here. Locket of the Iron Solari on Yugoto as well. Uh, so we saw that popped in the previous fight. There's actually two lockets on the side of IG and none at all on Royal. So we're all not really valuing that at all. Uh, we'll have to see how that sort of works out. I mean, the gold is very, very, very close. I mean, for this late into the game, this is ridiculous. It's 300 gold, seven turrets apiece. Kill sort of on the side of Royal here as well, but that just that just goes to show the other objective control that IG have had in terms of dragons. They got the Shirelli's on, they're gonna try and take this inhibitor away before Royal had the chance to respond. Uzi's it's a free in here. Godlike was caught out. I did that it's gonna be a free in here, exactly. Wow, they got they got themselves positioned towards that bot lane, and they knew as well that Lucky was traipsing around that blue button oh. area. They had vision and uh, nicely done by them. And uh, I think we just saw in uh, in center screens the tie there. Just missed his uh, missed his ultimate, missed that. Uh, shockwave Ooh. there, so that's a little bit disappointing. Satai, obviously, not too happy about that. Got that mech wave swag going on there, but he's made some great ones so far in this game as well. He has, yeah. It's a little bit hit on there. It's hard. I guess it's hard to get right all the time, uh, but it's going to be a really crucial spell to have on hand. The cooldown is slow though. It's only, only about seven seconds, and then you got CDR yeah. as well. So. Um, you know, that's fine. You know, IG aren't too concerned about that. So right now, a lot of ward coverage here. You know, Xiao Xiao has been a very, very busy mermaid. A lot of wards over the red side and a couple on the blue side of Royal's Jungle. IG looking to try and pick some people out here. They know that their fight is the next one. They've got Baron as well. So, you know, a, a 5v4 fight for IG, if they can force one, is going to be very, very favorable for them. And they're probably going to have enough people to, to take some uh, real objectives and continue to cripple Royal. So Royal without that inhibitor, and we saw IG's inhibitor respawn like 10 minutes ago. So IG feeling a lot more comfortable now. C-Tine Illusion going to take away the blue buff. That'll go to do late if clockwork. Yeah, that's right there. So, I mean, Royal at the moment just, uh, like we said, I mean, they don't want to make a single move. Um, just sitting in their base, pretty much behind this one, pretty much camping it. Um, and it's really going to be down to what IG does. Looks like Lucky potentially might be trying for a bit of a bait there. Royal, they are ready to respond. We might be seeing the engage soon. Yes, they're everyone positioning here around that mid inhibitor turret. And Royal know they've got to fight for their lives here, but they've got to be very, very careful about the way they do it. They have managed to turn some fights in their favour. We saw the fight for bottom and Hibna Tara was much the same. But that tower's getting very low. Nice little Aqua Prison on a Godlike. He got us just going to walk up and get the passive hit there. Martial Cadence on the Godlike and did that percent health damage. Now the Shirelli has popped. They want to fight now. Godlike is caught up by the knockup and he's going to drop very, very quickly. Uzi now trying to get a bit, a bit of damage in response. Whites and Tabe, they're going to back right away here. Free inhibitor essentially from IG. And well, you, you can't really follow them the way they're doing it now. They do not want to give away a team fight uh, this time. You know, Royal managed to get on top of them last time. Oh, look at the death sentence on Yugoto. Oh, White gets straight into the back line. He's going to pop this on his hourglass, but it's still very, very isolated. He's going to try and duck away. A lot of damage going on to him now. We're going to see the repel coming out. Oh, the shockwave hits on the Uzi, but Uzi's still looking quite healthy. Uzi can duel Illusion here quite easily. Illusion hits the deck. Lucky's going to run straight into Kid now. Kid, so low. The hate spike is going to be almost enough, but Kid manages to kite and get away with that Icebound Gauntlet. So that fight was a very, very messy one, but a two for three in favor of Royal. No one team is getting a distinct advantage, and IG almost got ace there. They are so very, very low. Uzi mechanics, OP, fantastic. Fantastic vein play in the top part of that little team fight as well. Illusion could not peel onto that vein. Exactly, it was solely Uzi there, you know, I want to say that really took that fight away for Royal and uh, unfortunately we did get a little bit of uh, the, the Comcast lag, whatever you call it, the, uh, the Chinese tournament client lag, unfortunately, on oh. that one, guys. So I think uh, next game we might just stick 15 seconds behind and uh, that should sort itself out. But look at that, Uber. We've got the gold and it's almost dead even. 45 minutes in. You know, these teams are neck and neck in this game. Of course, this is, this is a best of three. But, you know, what a match to kick off IEM Shanghai League of Legends.
That's exactly right. So very, very close between these two teams. And, you know, it's more on merit of uh, the Seesaw uh, that we're seeing around the fights around Baron and fights around inhibitors because that's the second time Royal now have turned to fight in their own base, not under any towers as far as I know. And they've actually come out on top against a Baron up IG. So, it's it, you know, it's a real... Real indicator to how very, very close these teams are. And the game will be won on virtue of, you know, of the team fight ability of either of these teams. We're seeing heavy presence in the top lane right now for IG. They're trying to shove this one in. They're trying to close the vice. I don't know if they'll be too keen to fight anymore, uh, Go -Go Gadget. Not in a 5v5 sense. They might just try and keep waves pushing on each uh, entrance to the base. There's two inhibitors down now. For, uh, for for Royal, and I guess that's something that they can, you know, that's a star they can pin on their chest because that's going to give them a lot more ease now uh, applying pressure in general. So they may even, you know, be able to get some more free objectives before this game is up. But either way, the team fight is going to be where it, where it's decided. Yeah, exactly there. So uh, at the moment, looks like we got... Uh, where we go. God like straight on in there. He's going to bounce around. He might have a bit of lag there, but Zeke is going to get caught by the distance. Tarve straight into the back line. Boxes on everyone. What a crucial engagement there. Zeke is going to drop very, very low. Illusion going to come down on top of Uzi. Uzi pops the barrier though. Illusion going to not well, just get away. Going to just get away there with Kid. Going to drop low again. I've seen this once before. Lucky this time is going to get the better of Kid. Lucky chasing on the Xiao Xiao. Lucky wants everyone. And uh, Lucky's picked up double. There's going to chase on after Xiao Xiao as well. Xiao Xiao's going to drop as well. That is a clean ace from Royal. No, sorry, they lost two players. I'm getting a little bit excited there, but what a crucial passage to play. And that was all about Tabe. Descendant straight onto Zetai. Boxed up the entire back line of IG. What a fight from Royal. <laughs> yeah, and uh, unfortunately, that was a word, uh, as we see Uzi there, just picking up Xiao Xiao. Oh, but, no. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we missed out on the entire fight. A little bit unfortunate there, guys, but uh, we will, of course, next game, sort that one out. Uh, it's not fun at all when, uh, well, I'm just sitting here with uh, yeah, the Frozen Champions on the screen. So, uh, was a nice in the end. So, Royal, oh, no, they... they they're two inhibs down. That last, actually, uh, bottom inhib has respawned. They're going to need to defend that one. And um, who knows? Very long death times on IG, but the issue for Royal is they can't really capitalize on it. They've got two inhibs down. They can't afford to you know, leave any of their lanes. Otherwise, you know, it's going to hurt them even more. But it looks like they may be trying for potentially a Baron, but instead Lucky just goes to the uh, blue buff. No, I can... All right, so we are, we're, we're now out of sync, I think, uh, but I can tell you... I can tell you that obviously that, oh, if you guys that missed that fight, as I said, it was all on virtue of Tarby there, so I'm live, go, go, gadget, we'll try and get this synced up now. Okay, I'm, I'm 15 sure. seconds behind, so if you hit the uh, backspace, then you should be alright, so we'll test out that. Hopefully that fixes all of those issues that we were seeing, so I'm at uh, you know, 48.08, just as yeah, we'll we see Lucky take the dra the Baron. Okay, so you know, Baron coming up for Royal, and... This is, this is perfect for them. They managed to defend their base, but those two inhibitors are down, so it's not going to give them much freedom to roam, and their bottom inhibitor didn't respawn, but got very, very low to a creep wave, if I'm not mistaken, it was pushing on it now. So, Royal, you know, this this game, you know, it's in the balance. It, oh, Lucky going to drop low. He got kind of caught out there, but going to be able to get away. Did cop a slight slow, and we're going to see the speed up there. So, Lucky... I'm going to get back to base here. Royal need to defend right now. There is no Baron for IG to take. So it was a master stroke there for Royal to take away that Baron because they knew for the next period of time they'd be stuck in their base trying to defend it. And they would have given away a free Baron to IG. But they took it now. IG not in a position to make a power play. IG are just going to try and settle themselves, take away some jungle camps and prepare for the next head-to-head. -head. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. So, I mean, at the moment, Royal just, you know, playing it safe in their base. With that Baron, they don't need to do anything else. So... Nice, uh, nice bit of play there by them. In the meantime, of course, we are going to be seeing Satai just picking up his blue buff. So, nice little bit of uh, CDR for him, although he's probably CDR capped at the moment. No, he, not quite. But Royal and crew, they're all, you know, elixir up, potioned up with the Baron buff. It, it is a six-item game of League of Legends at the moment. Uh, Uber, obviously, you know, with both the AP and the AD carries on both sides. Having, uh, yeah, pretty much maxed out items, upgraded boots, the works. And we're seeing here Xiao Xiao and crew with that Oracle sweeping through the Royal Jungle. That's right. IG is going to take away some uh, some stuff here. And they can do that, of course, because there's no real objectives for Royal to hold on to uh, in that area as well. They can't really defend it. So they might be trying to bait something out here, expecting that, you know, Royal may have vision on Kid. 
And now IG now sitting in the bush. They've seen some blobs flying over the corner. That was from Godlike. So, guys, I apologize for the lag we've had in the team fights as well. Also, the volume, if, uh, you know, let us know if it's a little bit too loud. We can dial that down for the next one. This is a, this is our growing pains, I guess, our, our growing pains uh, <laughs> cast here. We're just going to get some issues sorted out. Hopefully, it'd be great. Oh, the yeah, Aquaprision on a Godlike. What are you doing, Godlike? Walking straight on. Then the Cataclysm comes down. Producing the chocolate. Zink Tide takes down Lucky. White is out on the edge right now. A lot of red buff damage going down onto IG. But look at the uh, Shirelius pop now by Royal. Royal are skittish right now. They just lost two in that very, very poor overextension by Godlike. You got to did drop for IG, but IG now have the 4v3 situation. Royal have the Baron, but they knew they had to hot foot it right out there. Go, go, Gadget. Pop the Shirelius to get away. IG, though, they can take away some serious inhibitors. We're going to see the home guard coming out from Royal to try and stop him. Yeah, that's right. And uh, White's a little bit aggressive. I mean, obviously, he's going to need to be. He's actually going to dive onto the tie. Oh, right, it's a double zone. You just hit the both shot and gone. But Zeke Tide's going to be able to get away. White's though, maybe not so lucky. Illusion going to overextend to try and get the kill. But the shield there from the Dark Passage was enough to keep White's alive. Now, and Kid coming in now with a vengeance. Tabe caught bow on his own. He says, you know what? I'll take that one. I will drop. So that's another inhibitor royal we're going to give up on. White's was so keen, so intent on fighting right there. Went straight on into Z-Tire. Could not complete the kill. Got CC'd up. Had to pop the zone in. So that's just not good enough now. Royal are getting chunked at the stairs to their base. White's getting pressured. Oh, we see the cocoon. Oh, the Aqua Prison on the Uzi. Uzi, was there follow-up damage? Yes, just enough there as well. IG now looking to take this one away. Yeah, this should be IG's game right now. I mean, White's is actually still up, but we see the burst. <laughs> wow, he hit a cocoon <laughs> and a command shockwave at the same time. That was nasty. But now, they're going to get to this turret. But the thing is, some of Royal are starting to come back. They're losing players and gaining them. Oh, oh Lucky! He's going to drop. He's going to have this GA pop. Oh, no! Lucky is going to try and chase on there. Zhao Zhao is going to get caught as well. So Lucky going to pick up that double there on the chase here. This is some serious, uh, you know, potentially bad decision making from IG. They may have overstayed their welcome here. Lucky's going to chase on to Illusion now. Illusion trying to get hit down straight down the middle. They're going to throw a cocoon out, but Lucky not going to get caught up by that one. We're going to see the uh, the Elastic Slingshot coming out from God. Like, Yagolo's going to try and defend this one out. The Golden Ages to slow down the pursuit. We see the Randy as well to try and slow him up. And that is probably going to be enough for the disengage from IG. But my God, that was very, very close. Very, very lucky for IG that they didn't get straight out aced right there. This game is absolutely intense. So we're seeing, you know, I think it's safe to say a throw, a bit of a throw there from IG after that. Just, just staying for a little bit too long, a little bit too confident. And look at this. They're going to lose their middle in hit for it. And Royal are going to be very happy about that one. Goes down. Lucky takes it out. And, uh, you know, at this stage of the game, now it's actually Royal that's going to have to be careful because IG there sort of slowly respawning. That's right, but we do obviously see one Nexus turret is down. We're going to see a fight here over this inhibitor turret. You've got is going to cut the chunk of the waters. The Earth is going to come up and chump him right on down. We do see Lucky drop, though. Elusive's got the Ignite ticket, but he will go down. No, Godlike's going to catch him too much. Tower aggro. He's going to be he's going to be able to survive that one. Only just White is going to uh, manage to get out of there as well with the Playful Trickster. Wow, that was a hard fought inhibitor turret, but they did take it down. Now, it is 10 turrets to 8. Of course, there is only one turret left standing for Royal right now. Hardly any defense for their inhibitors. IG might even want to backdoor this one. Pink's now coming down. Oh, wow! Was that the True Shot Barrage come through or something? Because we did see Godlike get split up to all these pits and pieces now. We're going to see it a chase. Oh, wow! Zito wants this one so very badly. The Ignite comes down as well. However, the Elastic Slingshot is going to be enough to get Godlike out of there. A lot wow. of spells <laughs> burn on trying to take that Zack down. Oh, where's the tie there? He hasn't given up the chase yet either. He's pursuing, but now he's uh, decided that not really worth it. So in the meantime, that is going to be a, a, a dragon. You know, just kind of picked up casually there by IG. That was so close because, you know, if, if Godlike had dropped there, then that could have, well, it couldn't have been the game, but uh, I don't know. This game... It's too close to tell. You know, we're having team fight after team fight. You know, none of them conclusive. And uh, I don't know. I don't even know when this game's going to end, Uber. <laughs> it, it's ridiculous. And you know, the, the, the problem is here, though, is that there's still an inhibitor turret standing for IG as well as two Nexus turrets. So in terms of those very, very important landmarks, uh, you know, the architecture, you could say, that's still standing rule. All, all that has to happen is they make one wrong move and they will lose the game. They will lose the game. If they exactly. die in their base, they will lose the game. If they die in IG's base, they will lose the game. There's only that one Nexus turret left. So everything now has got to be completely calculated, completely forecasted, uh, you know, to the absolute T. Royal need to be very careful. They don't leave any opening tier for any backdooring. And of course, there's no teleports being taken on IG here. So, you know, no twisted fate in the game. No XP on the other team. However, Royal now just think to make sure their defenses are well short. Now is the vision war. Now it's making sure they don't get caught out. You know, Godlike. I've seen it so many times with Godlike. He walked at the bush, you know, down here, obviously near that Wraith Pit. 
and straight away at an aqua prison and it was all over there's so much initiating and cc on you know a cocoon into uh you know we saw cocoon into aqua prison into shockwave you know there's so much of that chain cc to lock people down now but it looks like it might be barren to be considered very very soon a lot of positioning taken up around that area things coming down all over it as well so far from igr in the area but look at this you know i don't think royal can fight for this baron because we're gonna have minions pushing onto their nexus turret very very shortly barons respawn and royal can't fight for it yeah that's right there and uh god like and crew all of royal is just coming back to defend that and look at that that is a completely free baron there for ig and you know at this stage of the game baron you know is still Still pretty useful, extra little bit of uh, AP and AD. Not not quite as you know, impactful as it was maybe 20 minutes ago, but still, I mean, IG with with five members that have Baron buff, that is going to be very hard for uh, for all to overcome. And I think we're going to have to see some uh, some more Uzi mechanics in the next fight. Well, I mean, look, uh, you know, at this point in the game, uh, you know, Baron adds a, a fairly significant you know amount. To any team that's carrying it we yes, are 55 yeah. 56 minutes into the game right now it looks like royal got like you know always wants to engage you know they seem very very keen to try and pick someone out here they probably want to go in on the z tire you know that that shockwave has been absolutely uh, devastating now got like once the engagement he's gonna go straight into the back line here he's gonna bounce around but it's only a go that's left there to get the green guy bounces down on him the tidal wave does come through and i've been disconnected here we're not quite actually so we've got like he's dropping down uh, Lucky's gonna pop the zombies there as well. Uzi caught out. Jazzy gonna try and put some pressure down now. Uzi's gonna have to back right on away there. IG gonna be trying to put this pressure now onto this inhibitor. I don't know if you've uh, disconnected, but it says that it's, it's, my game's trying to reconnect, but everything's still working right now. Yep. IG are gonna take away inhibitors, and I think that is GG. IG taking away this first of the best of three series. Yeah, I think so there. IG, fantastic team fight there. I mean, I'd love to go back and uh, review the replay of it, but I. I actually see now the reconnect button, the reconnect bar, I should say, is up, and that looks like it. So, in the end of the day, unfortunately, we're not going to see, not going to be able to see the last 15 seconds of the game. But that is IG's game, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that uh, Uber, so we can see the post-game screen there and take a look at that. So many kills, so much action throughout the entire game. It's safe to say, and uh, that was a fantastic way to uh, kick off. I am Shanghai and uh, IG winning that one in style. 1-0 in the best of three. Yes, the IG very, very good. You know, and we saw, uh, you know, Zetai, a very, very key player there. Actually, when that Leandri's in the end, it was like a lot of Zonia's action. You know, we'd see, uh, you know, White go straight to the back line, Zonia's up, and Zetai would Zonia's up because it was White's that was coming for him. Uh, you know, and then White's would try and get out and get caught, whereas Zetai was around his team. So we saw a lot of, you know, heavy extension by the Royal players into the enemy back line. In that last fight, it wasn't the engagement that Royal wanted. We saw Godlike, he elastic slingshot in, tried to hit the back line, but we saw Shirelius popped as well. All of IG backed away. It was just Yugato, that Jarvan, just, you know, having Zach bounce around on him. He's saying, I don't really care about your damage. I've got a Randu in the locket. I've got a lot of armor. Um, so, you know, Royal, the, the team fight really wasn't there quite there in the last stage of the game. They really turned around some close ones, but they lost too many objectives. At the end, they had to fight for these, you know, open inhibitors, uh, you know, and they couldn't even fight for their nexus. So they died in their base, and that was it. As I said, they die in their base. In fact, they die anywhere at that point in the game. That was GG. Exactly there. So, uh, guys, I think I will be uh, just checking up on the progress of the next game lobby. Hopefully, it should be up very, very soon. But uh, we'll be back after a short break, bringing you Game 2 of Royal vs. IG for IEM Shanghai. Stay tuned.